Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to MBT Studios. And in today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing the Odyssey LCD2 Classic Closed Back Editions. So, you're probably wondering, why closed back? <laughs> why would Odyssey make a closed back headphone? Well, it's not the first time they made a closed back headphone. They made the LCD X's closed. Although, the reception on that was kinda iffy um, when I was really looking at it, but um, with these, it's actually a treat. Now, let's let's take a couple steps back. So, this is based on the Odyssey LCD2 Classics. And what they mean by classic is that it's the original sound. There's no phaser in the actual driver, and that's what these are based on. Now, with that being said, it's back to the darker sound, and for some people that might be a hit or miss. I'll start with like the main thing that really kind of peeved me or, you know, um, that's a hit or miss for most people. It's a trouble. Um, it's it's not as good as I'd, I'd like it to be. And um, compared to the regular LCD2s, it's honestly a bit sterile in a sense. But if you can get past that, the mid-range and the bass is insane. But I'll get a bit more into that like later on. Let's just focus on the changes. So. Closed back cup, obviously, it's not a grill anymore, there's an actual enclosure. And um, it features the new headband. And this headband is by far one of the best headbands I've ever had on my head because this weighs 646 grams. But it goes on my head and it feels light as a feather. Like, there is just the right amount of clamp force. These plush pads do a lot. Now it's not um, real leather, I think it's a protein leather, it's synthetic, but I honestly prefer it because they're so plush and they go on my head and honestly like the, pa the, the pads and the headband really do carry the experience. So when Odyssey, you know, markets these as a comfortable headphone, they're not lying on their site. Let me put it in perspective for you guys. So these weigh 646 uh, grams, and you're probably thinking, oh yeah, sure, short term, they're fine. Well, here's the thing, I'm a gamer. And with these, I've had them on for a four hour gaming session, and, and it's only after the four hour gaming session where I take these headphones off, I kind of feel some fatigue, and I swap to something a bit more comfortable like the AKG K7112s. And nothing really beats those, but they're more comfortable than my HD650s, and you're probably not gonna believe it, but they are. And they're double the weight, but this headband is probably one of the best headbands that's ever been designed, and I can't stress that enough. And I, taught, I forgot to mention the MSRP. Well, these are $899, so I mean, Price-wise, it's not that bad. USD, I might. And um, the cable is probably one of the best cables I've ever gotten right from the box from like a headphone, like ever. Usually people would buy, pay like good money for these aftermarket cables to look and feel as good as this. Um, with that being said, it's honestly the perfect length, especially if you want to use these portable, because the impedance on these headphones is about 70 ohms, and I was able to power it off my LG V30, no problemo at all. But, um, you probably do want to use, a, like, you know, um, a standalone amp or DAC. Like, for, in my scenario, I use the Fostex HPA8, which we'll have a video, and, um, it does benefit from the additional power, and the DAC in the Fostex A8, um, HP A8, is superior, and I'll get into that with that video in particular. So, it is pretty sensitive, it's easy to drive, um, but one of the main things of going closed back is obviously sound isolation. And do these guys do it? Yes, they do, <laughs> hands down. Um, so basically I have an Omega a headphone stand, and when I had these on, and I'd turn on music before I'd actually put my headphones on, um, I wouldn't hear anything because basically the the headphones are on that Omega stand, but the isolation is so good that you know I wouldn't know that there's actually music playing on out of these cans. It's only when I put them on my head I'd be like, oh shit, there's music. So with that also being said, when I have them on my ears, there's amazing isolation. So I cannot hear anything outside of the headphones and you know you think changing it to a closed back you know the sound stage would become narrow and there'd be some you know qualities of the LCD2 that would honestly get skewed or you know uh, reduced 
Well, that's not the case with these. Um, the soundstage is immense, and the imaging is actually pinpoint with these headphones. Now, I don't, I'm not sure if it's you know my amazing hey, HP A8 amp DAC combo, but even with my phone, it was really good. Now, moving on to the sound, um, sound quality and the mid range and the bass that I kind of teased you guys with. If you thought planar bass with the LCD twos was like you know amazing. It just gets tighter with a closed variant, and that's what these are. It's so tight and impactful. It's not sloppy at all like the Z7s. Um, these come at you, and it's honestly a treat. It's delicious if I were to describe it, and you know, with like as if it was food. Um, the mid range is so intimate, and that's really what I gotta say, cause like. You know, vocalists do sound like they're right in front of you, and it's pleasurable to my ears. <laughs> That's really what it is. It's an eargasm. And, um, and those of you who've had LCD 2s, you probably know what I'm talking about. But for those of you who haven't, um, if you enjoy good mid range and you want the benefit of the isolation and that sweet tasting bass, um, honestly, go ahead with these headphones. But um, overall, I would recommend this headphone. Um, the build quality is a tank, and it just got better with these new innovations, and not only the cable, but the headband. And the ear pads are obviously one of the best ear pads that you can honestly put on your head. Um, no discomfort whatsoever. So with that all being said, um, I welcome these into my life, and you guys should probably take give it a shot. Now, if you like the video and you have any questions, uh, leave a comment below. Um, and if you aren't subscribed already, what are you doing with your life? <laughs> Just kidding. Um, subscribe if you are interested. And if you do like the channel and you want to support us, we do have our Patreon. And once we hit 100 Patreons, we are giving monthly giveaways. So look forward to that. All right, guys. That's uh, Tujin signing off. Peace.